EF we're talking about. Basically the same scale, sort of enhanced to sort of fine tune things. But nonetheless, EF0, EF1 is what uh, the thinking. Now, we won't know until tomorrow when uh, the experts go out and look at the, uh, the debris fields and, and things like that. But the bottom line is, it appears as though, uh, if not straight line winds, uh, if not a, a tornado that is, straight line winds did some damage in Cocoa. We've now got visual confirmation of at least funnel clouds uh, in Kissimmee from a viewer with an email, and then of course law enforcement in Groveland with visual confirmation of three funnel clouds. So obviously the hoopla pays off this time around as the activity is occurring as we speak and likely will continue to for us much of this evening and into the overnight hours. Where, when, that's going to be the tough one. The bottom line is we all need to be prepared between now and maybe midday tomorrow, most of East Central Florida, and late into the afternoon for southern parts of East Central Florida, be prepared for this type of activity to occur. So strong storms, gusty 